Hey everybody, welcome to another five minute chess game. We got pared down this time. Somebody from India, I think, right? Okay, uh, I'll play 45. Please don't take on c6. Good. It's very boring against a low rated player when they take on c6. I find it boring at least. Hmm. The Whirl. I can't remember exactly how I played this. I think I'm going to go b5, castles, and then d5 when they go c3. I'm going to do b5. I think that's what I used to do. Alright, I hope my memory is serving me correctly. And now I think I used to play h6, or was it bishop g6, bishop to e6? Or rook e8 is what I did actually. I'm pretty sure I play rook e8 here. I had a tournament game against Luke Harmon Velotti in this line. Um. I guess h6 now? Sure. How bad can h6 be? Oh, and at some point, knight a5 and c5. But not yet, because he'll take on e5. Hmm, I have all kinds of possibilities. Bishop e6 is kind of most likely what I'm going to do. I can also go bishop to b7. The thing is, I want to go knight a5 and c5, but he takes my e5 pawn there. What about knight h5 now? I remember that always being an interesting idea. I think that's kind of annoying actually here. Except he's attacking my d pawn. So I'm just going to go bishop e6. Before I do anything too dumb. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go this. Queen d7, rook a to d8. That looks pretty logical. No more wasting time on these stupid moves. I still can't go knight a5, which is annoying. But what can I do? I can take on e4, I guess. Maybe play d4. Let's see, if I go d4, d4 is usually okay in such positions. He probably won't take, I'm just pre-moving, just in case. Oh, he did take. Surprising. I guess that's why he did it. Well, bishop f8 looks too logical not to play. Uh, I have ideas of like taking a b4 to try to gain control of the d4 square. I might do something. Okay, let's see. Is g6 ever possible? He wants to go knight g4. I'm going to go king h7 to try to go g6. If he goes knight g4, I might play a very strange move, knight g8. I'm just going to do it real fast, intimidate the, the lower rated guy. But the idea of g6 just slowly pushes pieces back is my plan. Alright, if I go g6, is there any problem here? I don't think so. And when he moves the knight away, I'll go bishop g7, just to stay safe. Other moves are probably okay, like pawn takes pawn and b4. But I think bishop g7. Just kind of like take things nice and easy. Don't do anything too, uh, too committal just yet. Or I could take and go b4. Nah, you know what? I should be patient. Well, I think it's good. Or right, I'm gonna go patience, patience. Let's let him figure out what to do. If h4, h5, kicks him away some more. 
Did I have h5 last move? I he would have went to h2. Alright, I'm gonna do h5 now. Um, when he goes to h2, he's maybe like some late h5 ideas, but they all look horrible. It's time to it's time to take what's rightfully mine, which is the d4 square. Uh, if he takes, I probably have knight d4. By the way, and then knight c2 when his queen goes to e3. I deserve this d4 square, man. I deserve it. Um, surprising. Hmm. Pawn takes pawn is very interesting here. Pawn takes pawn, bishop takes rook, knight d4, queen e3, only move. Rook takes. That position looks so good for me. Oh, wait, wait, I have bishop h6 in that position, too. Then he goes queen e1. Oh, man, it's hard to resist. All right. Hold on, I can just go rook d7, and I think I'm better, though, is the problem. Yeah, sack exchange. More fun. Fun is important in life. Bishop h6 is like a key idea that it's going to cause him trouble. Like if he goes rook c1 next move, which he'll probably do, I go bishop h6, I win the exchange back. Everybody's happy. He, everyone misses bishop h6 in positions like this, like 100% of the time. 100% of the time. And now I can take, I can go, I can do so many good things. I can go c2 first of all. And he's dead. I think I'm just going to take though. That was probably weird what I just did. I should have done the other thing. Probably should have, should, maybe I should have done the d2 thing. Because, like, he's going to win my pawn now, isn't he? Oh, well, I give up. I'm still up a pawn in the end game if he goes queen c2. Oh, he didn't. Uh, knight f knight e4? Is it good or is it risky? It's risky, definitely. No, it's not. I'll just do it. It's a little risky. Oh wow, that should be losing. I'll just take it, man. Oh, we gotta think a little bit here. Um, I'll make a check. My technique was off. I'm going to do this, although that seems... Why didn't I go to g8? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. What the holy crap was that move? Jesus Christ. Just kill myself now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I mean, knight never... He should go rook... I should have went to e4, by the way. Um, but I didn't. So now he can go rook c7. Which is obviously the best move. Oh, he didn't do it. Alright, I'll try to make a queen. Alright. <laughs> um, he's worse here, because I have a... Active king. Uh, his, his knight can barely move anywhere. Crap. Uh, I mean, this is probably going to be okay for him. Yeah, this is fine for him.
Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, that's a bad square for his king. That's a good defense. Draw? You offer me a draw? That's a horrible draw. Wow. Horrible, horrible game. I keep doing this, like, horrible technique. I just... Ah, whatever. I refuse to analyze this game. See you next time. Bye-bye.